Now let's talk about the depth of that notch. How deep do we want to cut that notch? Okay. Well, I know that I was taught years ago that the depth of the face notch should be about one third the diameter of the tree. Okay, that's a rule of thumb, and it's 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 a useful rule of thumb to use. I mean, certainly in most cases we don't want to go beyond one third with our depth, right. because that is going to move the center of balance significantly to the rear, potentially giving us more forward lean that we might want. However, years ago, loggers might like that because they didn't have really good wedges, for example. They weren't setting uh, ropes like pull arborists lines. do for pull lines. So they might have wanted to move that back. The important thing is that we realize that trees are not perfectly round in most cases. So if we want a long hinge, which would give us more, more strength in that hinge, we want to go back far enough with that face notch so that we, we gain that desired length. Now a rule of thumb that we use is about 80%. What I mean by that is that if we were to measure from this side of the tree to this side of the tree, we're falling the tree that way, and we wanted our hinge to be 80% in length, that is across the front. 80% of the total diameter. That's right, from this side okay, to this right. side. Then we really are not going to have to cut one third back into this piece of wood to achieve that 80%, are we? No. Right. Now, it could be that we're cutting a tree with side lean, maybe some heavy side lean. We've got good fiber, but we want a strong, as strong a hinge as we can get. We may want to come back and achieve that 90% or 100% in length across the front of the hinge or across the front of the hinge, okay? Now, if we were felling this tree in the other direction, it changes dramatically, doesn't it? If we want to achieve that 80% or even 100%, again, we don't need to cut one-third depth. Now, what I'm not trying to say is that the rule of thumb that's been used for years, that is one-third depth, is wrong or shouldn't be used. I think it's important that the operator, the feller, understand what exactly it is we're trying to achieve. With the technology that we have available to us today, the chainsaws, the power, the ability to cut uh, diagonally as well as, as well as horizontally or cross-cutting, we can open the, the face notch up and we can, we can really maximize that wood fiber. It seems to me that, you know, as we all know, every tree is different. So what's most important here is that the, the operator is thinking. The he's using process. a planning process. That's right. So that because he's in a different situation all the time, he's using that same thought process. He's probably going to get more consistent results. That's right. Okay, we've talked about hinge length. Now, what about the thickness of, of the hinge? And by the thickness, of course, we mean the distance from the face cut and where we stop with the back cut. The actual pivot point, even though that's a 45 degree notch, that's still right the pivot here. point. As long as we haven't cut the hinge off, that's what steers the tree. Right. How thick do we want that hinge to be? Again, there's a rule of thumb that we like to use, and that is about 10% of the diameter of the tree. Certainly, that, that's going to vary in different circumstances. That's right. Because uh, if we had a, a big top to the tree with a lot of top weight, uh, you know, we, wa we might want that 10% because we want good holding wood, but the momentum is going to carry the tree over. But if we, were, we only had a small chunk and we don't have the leverage, then maybe we might only want a 5%. That's right, where an arborist is up on a stem and we're pushing off chunks of wood, perhaps rigging those pieces off. If we have a one inch thick hinge, we're never gonna break that off, we don't have any leverage. We want, we're gonna want that hinge, but just enough to control that top so that it'll go where we want it to go.